This is your content warning. I normally don't put those in front of my videos, but because I will be addressing the Mr. Beast Chris Tyson scandal, I just wanted to inform parents that the subject matter in this video will get pretty dark pretty quickly because it is a disturbing one. Hi everyone, my name is Jacob Airy. Welcome to the Studio Jake Vidcast, where I talk about all things pop culture. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube, ring that little bell and consider becoming a channel member. All right, this is something that has really sparked a huge debate. It has brought about really personal turmoil for some people involved in this whole situation, and it is really dark. It appears that Mr. Beast's sidekick, now calling himself Ava Chris Tyson has done some very disgusting things and unfortunately on YouTube I am going to have to self-censor a little bit but I think you'll get the gist of it. This is the Publica reporting. Mr. B sidekick accused of grooming after allegedly exchanging inappropriate messages with minors. A YouTube star is facing allegations of wanting inappropriate images of children after allegedly exchanging inappropriate communications with a minor, according to several online sources. Chris Tyson, also known as Chris Tyson or Ava Chris Tyson, is Mr. Beast's longtime sidekick. Since coming out as transgender last year, the 28-year-old YouTuber has faced a number of criticisms with many initially expressing concerns about his decision to separate from his wife despite the couple having a young son. But Tyson is now under even more scrutiny after it was alleged that he exchanged inappropriate text messages with one or more minors and arranged to meet at least one. The accusations were first made by Prism42, Prism a YouTuber who uploaded a 43-minute long video on the inappropriate communications in June. Prism had reportedly contacted the alleged victim under the guise of hiring for a video editing job and gathered evidence against Tyson during their interaction. But while Prism's video titled, Chris Tyson talked inappropriately to a 13-year-old did not gain widespread attention at the time of its release, clips and screenshots from the video began circulating on social media yesterday. One such post calling attention to the allegations made by a, a user by the name of Ma racked up tens of thousands of likes in the span of just a few hours. Likely inspired by the engagement, Ma received clips of the Prism 42 video were then uploaded by Drama Alert. The news about Tyson then went viral and rapidly gained global attention. They go on to talk about his relationship with an underage online personality by who goes by Lava. So apparently Chris and Lava were engaging in jokes, as Lava says. Now, remember, at the time, Chris was an adult and Lava was a minor. This was years ago. Now, Lava has come out and defended Chris. However, this is not the only instance. Continuing with the publica. But disturbingly, this is not the first time Tyson has attracted negative attention for his questionable activity related to minors. Last year, Internet Sleuths uncovered a pattern of disturbing posts on Tyson's official X account in which he appeared to make a crass comments about children. In 2016, Tyson wrote, Nothing gets my knob a cranking like some lowly, a reference to pleasuring yourself to animated characters intended to look like underage girls. While the term lolly was popularized by the fans by fans of Japanese animation, it has become synonymous with map depictions of sexualized minors and cartoon adult content. As previously reported by independent news outlet Redux, Tyson was also found to have collected and even purchased physical copies of lowly artwork. And they go on to talk about a June 27th incident and shared a tweet from Ollie London that says the sidekick of Mr. Beast, the world's most popular YouTuber, became trans a few months ago and Mr. Beast stood by him accusing those critical of transphobia, but unearthed tweets from Chris Tyson suggest some disturbing behavior, and that was in August uh, 2023. While James Donaldson, more popularly known as Mr. Brees, have pre previously come to Tyler's defense against criticism following his transition, he has been noticeably silent over the past 24 hours. And I want you to read the rest of the article over at thepublica.com. It is very disturbing, though, just to warn you. What is with these YouTubers? It's like they want Chris Hansen to come out of the shadows and say, have a seat. It is incredibly bizarre that this has gone unnoticed. It kind of reminds me when the Harvey Weinstein allegations first came out and it turned out he had been doing things like that, what he was accused of for years, decades. Now, 
the judge and the prosecutor made a lot of mistakes, so it's looking like his New York trial may get redone. But we have seen evidence and recordings and just creepy behavior by him. And Hollywood knew. I mean, they were laughing at it, at jokes about it all the time. I remember at uh, one of the Oscars, one of his films won an award and the host, who it was the creator of Family Guy, Seth MacFarlane, got up on stage and he goes, oh, now these, these ladies don't have to pretend to like Harvey Weinstein. And everyone laughed. Oh, it's so funny. It's so funny. Arf, 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 arf. And then Meryl Streep won a participation, excuse me, a uh, Lifetime Achievement Award at the Golden Globes. And she thanked Harvey Weinstein and called him a god. Absolutely disgusting and disturbing. And it's even more disturbing that Tyson has done this. And this isn't the first time a celebrity has done this when there's been a scandal. So think about Caitlyn Jenner, previously known as Bruce Jenner. He was in a automobile accident that caused the death of the other motorist. What happens? All of a sudden, he becomes a she. Or think about Demi Lovato. She went had a meltdown in some sort of bakery because they had diet cookies or something. Oh, all of a sudden, she's non-binary. But guess what? She's back to being binary. Or how about Ezra Miller, who was beating up people, assaulting people, choke slamming fans, allegedly grooming as well. All of a sudden, non-binary. Oh, but he still goes by he, him. I mean, it's absolutely repulsive behavior. And now we have Chris Tyson. These are just allegations at this point, but I will say I've read many of the screenshots. If these are confirmed, ultimately, this is incredibly disturbing behavior, and it should not be allowed. Chris needs to be held accountable. Ava, whatever this person wants to call themselves. It's fine. They can change their name all they want, but he can't change the fact that he's a man pretending to be a woman and now busted. One scandal after another where celebrities pull this kind of stunt. And listen, this won't get me any friends, I know, but this is just a fact that it seems like, now please note, I'm not talking about everyone in the LGBTQ community, but it does seem like all of these ones that have a little bit of celebrity, it seems like they make these kinds of transitions when they're trying to cover something up. It's gross, it's disgusting, and if it's true, I stand by my statements. How you deal with, with minor attracted persons, as the politically correct term is, this is how you treat them. A short drop and a sudden stop. I said it. I'm not taking it back. Those who hurt children should be punished to the full extent of the law and even harsher, in my opinion. I think that that behavior is absolutely gross. In this case, it seems like children need to be away from Ava Chris Tyson. If you liked that video, be sure to give it a like, share it out to all your friends, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. Also consider becoming a channel member where you get all kinds of exclusive perks right here on YouTube. But if you don't want to support me on YouTube, you don't like Big Tech, don't blame you. Click on the link to my Locals community. It's in the description. You can support me there by signing up for a monthly subscription or by sending my articles tips. I would really appreciate it. It helps small indie creators like myself. Or you can get a copy of my novel, Blessed Child. This is the hardcover edition. The paper paperback one is right here. It's also available as an ebook. It really helps me out when you support me through my writings. I love it. All of you who have already bought a copy, thank you so much. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time right here on Studio Jake, hopefully with a more heartwarming video. Don't need a guy